Did you hear this crazy story about George Clooney? No. Oh my God, this is amazing. So in 2013, we had heard some rumors that George Clooney had given a couple of his friends a million dollars. And it was like, wait, what? He gave he gave people a million dollars? And it just, it didn't really make any sense. And it just, it seemed like one of those like weird urban myths. Mm -hmm. So George Clooney is in GQ this month. And he says, he does an interview with them. And they ask him about it. And he's like, it's true. I gave 14 people a million dollars each. That's like yeah. $14 million. It's exactly $14 million. Oh. But the way it happened is amazing. So, okay. So he meets Amal Clooney, decides to, um, uh, when she was uh, Amal. Um, uh, Lopez. A, whatever. Lopez uh, mm -hmm. Smith. Uh, no, what was her last name? Wait, I, I want to get it right. Smith. Uh, Pitt. I'm just going to name things. Lawrence. Was her name Lawrence? Trump. Alamudin. That was it. Okay. Amal Alamudin. Yeah, that's what it was. So, anyway, was so, she, so he meets her, and I guess he was sort of talking to her about the people in his life who, you know, really helped him when he was nowhere. Like, I guess after whatever TV show he was on, I think like when he was doing Roseanne and stuff, he was sort of struggling. He wasn't really George Clooney yet. He was just some actor. Mm-hmm. He got kicked out of a place to live, and a friend was like, take my couch. And another friend was like, oh, you have no money here. I have 100 bucks. You can have it. You know, people did a lot of things for him, and these are people that have been friends of his for a long time. So in 2013, he had a dinner party, and he invited them all, and he said, I have a really – he thanked them all and went through each story and what they'd done for him, and, ha and he wouldn't be where he was if it wasn't for them. And he'd been talking to Amal about doing something special. And as a joke said, I should just give him all a million dollars. And she was like, yeah, you should do that. So he calls his business manager and he's like, can I just hand 14 people a million dollars? And if so, where do I get a million dollars from? So the guy's like, you know what? It's not e like you can't walk into a bank and say, give me 14 million dollars. It's a whole process. So he finds like a treasury department type place where they can provide million uh, 14 million dollars in cash he's already paid the taxes on it so it's free and clear right mm -hmm. so he he rents a, a van that says florist on the side of it because he's got to be able to transport this money right he can't be he 14 be in million a car. dollars can't put it in a bmw no you cannot so he rents this van this like van that says florist on it it's him his assistant uh a security guy and like his business manager and they drive into this building and they have one of those elevators that you can drive into the elevator. Mm -hmm. So he drives this florist van into the elevator, goes to this like secret place with like this vault. They bring him $14 million in cash in a series of <laughs> suitcases. It's almost like one of his movies. Yeah, you know? that's Ocean 12. And, no, this is like Ocean <laughs> 17 or something. So th so they put it in the back of this van and he and the security guys go and they drive it home. And then I guess he bought 14 suitcases and put a million dollars in each. Mm -hmm. So at this dinner party, he gives this speech thanking everybody. And he said, you know, as a joke, I'd said to Amal, what should I give everybody? I want to show them how much I care about them. She's like, I don't know. Give them a million dollars each. And that's what I decided to do. And he handed them each a million dollars. Okay, I'm wondering, I mean, George Clooney is George Clooney, uh, mm -hmm. but he really hasn't done anything in a while. I'm, what? What What has he done? What movie okay. has he done that, that right. I've well, seen? For, first of all, he's been directing and producing stuff like crazy. Second of all, he had that tequila. Oh. Yeah. $510 million. Yeah, okay, so what happened was George Clooney and his tequila company, Casamigos, he sold it. For a billion dollars, one billion dollars. But he shares that company with Randy Gerber, Cindy Crawford's husband. Oh. So they split five hundred million dollars each. So a guy sells this tequila company. He has five hundred million extra dollars. Mm. I think he should have just walked in the Bank of America with a one of those slips that you uh -huh. can <laughs> withdraw money. <laughs> just fourteen million. And hand it to the teller. I just want to see the teller's face. And, and you say, I have 20s, please. Yeah, see, that's the problem. Banks don't keep cash anymore. They don't. They hardly have any cash anymore because mm -hmm. everything is digital. You know, you, you transfer money. I mean, I don't know about you, but when I get a check or any money, I do it all on my phone on an app. You know, so nobody 
nobody really has money anymore, any cash. So that's why he had to go to like a special place because banks don't have fourteen million dollars in cash. <laughs> right. He should have gave everybody like a Visa gift card. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a million dollars on it. When is the last time you actually held money in your hand? I, I don't even think money exists anymore. I know. I, I haven't been anywhere at any time that like that anyone's asked me for any money. I mean, even like I went to a store the other day and something was a dollar sixty nine and I just I was like, Do you have Apple Pay? <laughs> and they're like, Yeah. I was like, Okay, so I did Apple Pay for a dollar sixty nine, which made perfect sense to me in the moment. But the funny thing is the joke on Twitter all day was that George Clooney's fifteenth friend was like, Hey uh, Right. What about me? I can't believe he's got that many friends. Yeah. Who has 14 friends? What adult has 14 close friends? When you have $510 billion in the bank. Yeah, I guess. But mm, I guess you make friends later on. But these, no, these are people that helped him early on. That's the whole point of this. These are people that are true blue. They weren't friends of his. After he was famous and rich, they were friends of his before, which is how they earned the money. I don't think I've called 14 people this year. No, I definitely have not. Yeah, 14 different people. I don't think I've done it. I was trying to count how many close friends I have, and I came up with four, and then I came up with possibly a fifth, and then Joe mentioned two others. And here's the thing. I definitely have seven people that if I was George Clooney, I could give a million dollars to that mm -hmm. would be deserving of it. But I don't know that the seven people are all my closest friends. <laughs> like, I don't know how close we are. I just feel like they've done a lot for me and I should give them a million dollars. The eighth person is going to be like, damn it. Yeah. Why was I a bitch to her? So this is something that he did in 2013, and it just came out this week that Dolly Parton had donated a million dollars towards a coronavirus va vaccine. Right. You see that story? Mm -hmm. So, of course, what do people start saying? Oh, so Dolly Parton gave a million dollars to coronavirus, and George Clooney gave $14 million to his friends? Like, yeah. Okay, first of all, there was no coronavirus in 2013. He's very generous and has all kinds of charities and foundations. Like, it's just never good enough. You know what I mean? Like, it's Seven not good enough that ago. Dolly Parton gave money. Seven years ago. And she probably gives more money than that to charity. Well, she probably she does. But she just happened to give it to the right charity at the right time. Because they're one of the, the drug makers that are making the drug. But these two stories are not related. Right. Like the the fact that George Clooney gave away $14 million seven years ago. People think it just happened like last weekend. Uh, well, because it just hit the news. So Yeah, it just hit the news, but it happened seven years ago. But people don't read. 